Hey, welcome back to Bearsquid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can quickly create and upload resources, educational resources on Google Classroom to support online learning. Okay, so here we are with the iPad, and what I want to do is I'm, I'm making a, a video regarding what well, I'm teaching a lesson on the product sum. Uh, and so what I'm going to do here is I know that if I teach this lesson, some students are going to be a bit lost and then they're, they're going to want a resource that they can go back to. Now, I can refer to any YouTube video. In fact, I've created YouTube videos on this topic. But to personalize the learning, I'm just going to go through this lesson, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to start recording this. Just make sure when you hold this down that the microphone is on, okay? Um, yeah, so once the microphone's on, you can start your recording and then that's just going to uh, start recording your screen. Okay, this is going to be a bare bones, no edit type of um, screen recording. You, you don't need to go and edit this later on. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk to my students. So, for example, I might say, hey guys, we're going to do the product sum where the coefficient of, uh, you know, um, x squared is not equal to 1. And, and so I'm going to carry on with this. I'm going to erase all of this and then I'm gonna start doing my working out, okay? So I'm gonna do this, and then I'll go, go ahead and I will record my lesson. So I will say to them, hey guys, you need to start with AC, so take, you know, uh, three times two, which is plus six, and then you need to take the coefficient. And I'm gonna continue with this lesson until I've completed it. Once I've completed the lesson, I'm happy with it. Click on this dot again, okay, and stop your recording. Now that's gonna save this recording to, it says here, look, screen recording has been saved to photos. So if I go to my photos, uh, I can find that that screen recording here ha has been saved now. Now I've done one just before this because I, I am uploading this for my students. So um, here's the one I recorded. It's only four minutes, four minutes and 45 seconds. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Google Classroom, okay? Uh, and I'm going to go to, you know, whatever class I want to go to. Uh, and so here, I, I, you know, I've gone to my grade 10 class. Go to classwork and I'm going to add an assignment. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add an assignment, okay? And then in adding an assignment, what I've done, uh, normally my naming convention, my title convention here is I'll definitely write down the date. So today's like Tuesday, um, is it the 8th? Yeah, the 8th of September. So I'll definitely do that. So make sure my students know where, you know, what in, in all that list of announcements that they have or assignments, they'll know which one to look for. And then I can name it whatever, yeah, it's the product sum. Yeah, the product uh, sum. Uh, and give some in additional instructions. I'm going to say, please watch the video. Okay, uh, attached. Maybe I could just write here attached, so they, so they know where it is. Um, and then complete the exercise. Okay, complete the exercise. Okay, so then how do I attach that video? Let me just do a full stop here. How do I attach the video? I'm going to go up here to attach. Okay, the attachments, and I'm going to pick a photo. And then come over here and, of course, go ahead and pick that photo that you just created. So this is the one that I created. And I'm going to go ahead and press use. It's going to start compressing the video. So look, I'm not uploading this to YouTube. I'm not uploading it to my drive. I'm uploading it straight to my Google Classroom. Now, this will inevitably upload this file into your Google Drive, which is fine. You'll find it under class, uh, Classroom. But for now, I'm just uploading it from here. And then, of course, I'm going to attach the exercise um, that I refer to. So for example, I can go to attach. My exercises, are uh, I save them on the iPad. So it's here under my grade 10 classes, uh, lessons. And I'll go ahead and upload, you know, the file that you want to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and upload. This video then essentially is how to create and upload video content on the fly for your students. I could go ahead now and schedule that. Okay, I'll go ahead and schedule this for whatever time. I can choose a time and a date. Okay, I would schedule this before the lesson or just, you know, 20 minutes into the lesson. So once I've taught my lesson now, uh, the students will get a ping in their inbox and they can go ahead and look at the resources. Now, why is that different to just recording your Zoom uh, or your Google meetings? Um, the difference is sometimes there can be a lot of lag when um, recording this you know, live uh, through the web, okay? There can be a lot of lag. Uh, so it's it's easier uh, to just record a snippet of what you want to send your students, okay? Now look, we can do the same thing on the computer, on a Mac, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on a Mac. Uh, this screen recording feature is available on a Mac. Let me go ahead and show you how to do that. 
Okay, so here we are on a Mac device, and how do you screen record? So for example, let's say I was uh, doing a presentation, okay? I had a presentation up, and I just wanted to quickly record the presentation. How could I record it? Well, actually, on a Mac, okay, uh, since not even the latest update, not even Catalina, one before that, Sierra, I think it was, if you press Shift, okay, Command and 5, so Shift, Command and 5, so I'll press that here, what it does, it brings this up, okay? Let me zoom into that so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So it brings up this, okay? This menu here allows you to capture the entire screen, capture a selected window, uh, capture a selected portion, okay? Record uh, the entire screen and then record a selected portion. Uh, let's go ahead and see what the options here are. Where do you want it to save? We just save it on the desktop so you know where it is, um, so you can access it really quickly, okay? A timer, you can have like a five second timer, a 10 second timer for you to get set up to open up your presentation. Microphone, you can have the built-in microphone. I usually go ahead and use my AirPods. Um, I, I usually go ahead and use my AirPods. And these connect really well to the Mac uh, and they give me better clarity so my students can hear what I'm talking about. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. Uh, what else can you do? Show the floating thumbnail. Remember the last section, okay, which is basically if you're gonna do a portion, okay? So let's go ahead and let's uh, record this. What we'll do is we'll do the entire screen for now, okay? So we'll record the entire screen and all you need to do is press on the record button. So if I go ahead and press on this record button now, now I've got two displays attached here, okay? So I'm just gonna quickly zoom out and just show you this. Okay, in my previous video, I did show you how to set up a second monitor to, um, to your Mac. So right here, I've got two displays here, okay? So I'm just gonna go back into that and go ahead and select display one. Um, and then I can go ahead and start recording. So if I now pull up my presentation, okay, imagine I have a presentation to present. Maybe I've got, I'm gonna present this, okay? I can go ahead and start presenting this. Okay, do what I need to do. Okay, and then when I'm ready, okay, I'll just show you this. When I'm ready, there's a little dot on the top. Let me just zoom in, I'll show you here, right, right here. Okay, so there's this little dot on top. Okay, if I come over here and I can press on this little dot and then that would bring a little screenshot, okay, down at the bottom here and it's telling me, hey, you know what? Your, um, your file has been saved. So let's go find out where that is and it should be on the desktop, okay? So if I come out of this and I just go to my desktop, I've got too many things open up here. Okay, here you go. You can see right here, I'll zoom in and I'll show you. Okay, there you go. That's our screen, uh, we just recorded the screen. So let me go ahead and open that. I'll play that for you. So it's opening up for us and you can see now that this is actually a recorded screen. So if I go ahead and play that, Okay, I'm just going to pause that there. So that's how you can record on a Mac, okay, um, and uh, an iPad, okay. So an iPad and a Mac, and of course, you can go ahead and just upload this straight into your Google Classroom. You don't need to upload this to the drive. You don't need to upload it to YouTube. You can put it straight to the drive and your students have access to it. I hope you found that helpful. Consider sharing that with a colleague. Maybe you'll help someone out. And subscribe for more EdTech videos especially if you're interested in the Google Suite, okay, a Classroom, uh, Google Meet, and so on and so forth. I've been pumping out a lot of videos regarding that. Uh, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.